We encounter one of the most difficult types of deviation in the nasal axis, which is caused by the birth trauma in the birth canal. Uh, the deviation uh, is caused by the displacement of the caudal septum, and uh, we do have something about 45 degrees of deviation to the right side that has had a growth discrepancy during the puberty and as you see there's completely asymmetric three-quarter views and complete displacement of the nasal axis from the midline The plan was to perform the extrusion osteotomy of the left side and put uh, an extended spreader graft. Uh, it, the spreader graft was just placed in the left side and extended up to the nasal bone, which was osteotomized and brought out as an extrusion osteotomy, and also uh, the classic osteotomy of the right side to make this very thin part a little bit thinner and thicker and also make the deviation more straight. So we did have a very considerable defect in the seal of the left side uh, that needed uh, correction with multiple grafts here. Uh, the foot plate of the medial crura was uh, completely asymmetric in two sides and we did put some graft also beneath the uh, foot plate of the medial crura. At the end of the operation, using the extrusion osteotomy of the left side and also the classic osteotomy of the right side, along with insertment of two long extended spreader grafts in the left side and also performing multiple corrections and the two uh, lateral crural cartilages we've been able to rebuild something more symmetric not 100 percent symmetrical but more symmetric than what it was there's also to narrow vault of the bony segment plus symmetry and thinning of the tip. We do have we do have a very strong tip structure here as it is visible. That's very strong. It does not bend and this guarantees the lifelong permanency of the results for this patient. A very gentle curve.
the equal three-quarter views of the left side and the right side despite the difference that existed on these three-quarter views preoperatively we now have a very gentle curve here and also the aesthetic line, bro to deep aesthetic line which is continuous here and also continuous here with mild increase in the columella labial angle but it's still natural